back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Long time no see. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry but I took a massive break like three months break from YouTube. Halloween happened then Christmas happened and it's just gone so freaking quick. I know that's very cliche but it's true. I don't know where the year's gone but now I want to kick my butt back in gear. I've chopped a lot of my hair off. <laughs> oh, if you see things in my hair by the way, I've got hair tinsel in. Also, I upgraded my Mac. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen me tweeting about this. Final Cut Pro wasn't working. And then also, for some reason, my camera wouldn't connect to my laptop either. So it was technical issues. Since I've been filming my videos, you guys have just been stacked on boxes and boxes and boxes. For Christmas, my sister actually got me like a tripod for my desk. So now you guys are like comfortably on a tripod and not just wobbling on a box. Also this Christmas I got an external hard drive for my laptop and that is a game changer. Just get ready for the YouTube videos, that's all I'm saying. I hope you guys stick around for the rest of the videos. If you want to, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to get to know me a little bit more, then check out some of my previous videos. I've got quite a few going already. Alright, so I've rambled on for almost 10 minutes and I haven't even told you what this video is. Although you can probably tell from the title. Today I'm going to be going over my kind of winter base makeup. So what I've been doing throughout the whole month of December, what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the colder season. And I just think people do it very differently so I wanted to show my vision let's go so I look a little bit insane because I've just done my eyeshadow and my eyebrows but let's get right on into this base makeup so around Christmas time I tend to go for a more matte look mainly because I know I'm gonna be doing more you know you've done a full day of work and then after work you're going out and buying Christmas presents and all that jazz so I want my makeup to last as long as possible so for my primer to give myself a little bit of hydration and to prep my skin I'm using the Smashbox photo finish primerizer I just really like the way that this just kind of hydrates my skin but also makes it a little bit tacky for foundation. I use quite a bit of it because I really want my skin to be nice and moisturized. I've never done my eyebrows before my foundation and stuff so we're gonna see what they end up looking like. And yes I take this all the way down my neck and right underneath my eyes as well. I leave that set into my skin for a little bit but I also like to use the Professional by Benefit. This is like a tiny little mini one but I do have a full size one somewhere. I really need to sort through my makeup drawers. <laughs> and then I just put this in my kind of porous areas which for me is around here on my cheeks and a little bit in between the brow. I don't like to overload products so I kind of spread it as thinly out as I can because I find with this sometimes it can pill. Just kind of push it into the skin and blend it in at the same time. My hair is going to annoy me so I'm just gonna put it up real quick. I managed to find a scrunchie. I need to sort my eyeshadow out because it is not even at all. Next is foundation. Um, hmm. I did a review on this and I really wasn't fussed on it at the time but I've been giving it a fair chance. I've been testing it out and I've been using it a lot recently and now I quite like it. Maybe it was the primer combination and everything together that wasn't working for me. I don't think I even said what it was. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation and I'm in the shade F1 which is the palest shade at the moment. Think. I am usually a sponge gal but I've actually been using a brush and it's not a brush that I would usually use for foundation it's this NYX makeup brush and it is the number eight and it's a duo fiber brush I don't know why I've just been loving this because it's so quick and easy to do my foundation I just kind of swirl around and it blends it out really nicely it gets a nice thin even layer if I want to get a bit more foundation I can just pat the brush it works really well for foundation I don't think it's supposed to be foundation brush maybe it is I don't know I haven't really looked it up but I've been using this so much <laughs> for my foundation so that's what I'm gonna do today so I literally just slap it on I like to do one side at a time because I find this foundation can dry down a little quickly so I'm just gonna do this real quick I find that this brush also doesn't give me streaks I've been wearing makeup a lot more and I find that I will wear makeup more if I can do it quickly. Using this brush just gets it done and dusted. But I like keep forgetting I'm filming. I haven't filmed for so freaking long. <laughs> I missed it honestly though. Yeah, this brush has kind of become just like my base brush. So I do my concealer with this. I've been doing my foundation with this. I don't know why I was just lazy one day and figured out it worked. <laughs> story of my life. I'm sorry guys I don't know what happened my camera had a freak out and it was like I don't want to use this SD card anymore so yeah the line might have changed and I apologize and also I blended out all my concealer but we're just gonna carry on like nothing happened. <laughs> 
So even though this is a matte foundation, I do like to powder it down to make sure it lasts as long as possible. I've been using the Collection Pressed Powder. This is the cheapest powder ever, and it's in the color 18 Ivory. I've used this a lot on my channel, so this is nothing really new. I'm taking it on this brush, which is the EXO Beauty Small Face Brush. So in here, I actually have some of the RCMA No Color Powder as well. I kinda likes to mix the two. So I just go in and mix in some of the RCMA, and I'm gonna set my under eyes, just making sure there's no creases. And I look straight ahead, and then I just gently powder my under eye. I've worked out that I really don't like using loose powders underneath my eye. I just feel like it takes away the coverage of the actual concealer that I'm using. So this kind of combo works really well. I just prefer the smoothness that the actual pressed powder gives me. The RCMA powder as well also gives a bit of brightness, which is what I like and want. And then I'm just using this big old brush for the rest of my face and I'm just gonna swirl it around in the powder and set the rest of my face. And I like to press it in, I don't like to swirl because I want to make sure that I don't move any of the product underneath. Okay, so now I'm all powdered and I'm looking very flat. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, which this has slowly become one of my favourite steps and also one of my favourite products. This is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. This has a satin finish and I just love it. It looks so natural but again it brings life and colour to your face. I honestly have not stopped using this. It has a subtle sheen to it and it just looks so nice on the skin. I'm using the Spectrum Big Brush. I think this is similar to the Morphe R7 brush but I just take it on kind of like an angle top of the excess and I just stamp it around my hairline. This bronzer is one of the best because it just blends so well and I'm kind of bringing it into the face. I feel like the lighting in here is making this side look darker so that looks crazy right now but I swear it is amazing and I'm kind of using this to kind of chisel out my cheeks kind of not more just bringing color into the outer perimeter of my face. Just bring it underneath my jawline. But just look at the difference. <laughs> this side compared to this side. My camera battery is actually gonna die right now, so I'm just gonna finish off of this side and then we'll come back for blush and highlight. So see you in a sec. Okay, so we are back, we are bronzed. I also contoured a little bit, but that's not in my normal day to day. I usually just kind of bronze and that's it. So recently I've actually been highlighting it first and I just feel like this blends my bronzer, blush, and highlight like all together, makes it more seamless. My favorite highlight, this, oh my gosh, the Doll Beauty has killed it. This is the Doll Light. As you can probably see, I, this has gotten a lot of love recently. <laughs> Every time I've been wearing highlight, it's been this. It just blinds and is so smooth on the skin. I've been using a lot of tools like for multi-purpose. I don't know why, I have plenty of brushes. Just easy, I guess. <laughs> So I'm gonna use the small face brush by EXO Beauty again and I just go on the high points. This highlight is just so good. Like, look at that. But I have literally used no other highlights since I got this one. And I have just bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlight that I really wanna use, but I just, I've just been loving using this one. Nose, cubis bow. Be careful with putting it on your cubis bow because sometimes it can look like you got a sweaty lip, so just an FYI. Okay, so now on to blush. I don't actually have a particular blush that I've been using over and over and over again. I kind of switch it up a bit. Today I'm going to use the Lasting Finish Soft Color Blush in 20 Pink Rose and this is by Rimmel. I've been doing my blush with a duo fiber brush so I'm just going to pick some of it up with this. So what I do with this is I lightly graze the skin but I literally just go in between my bronzer and my highlight and I just blend it all together. I'm gonna quickly go off camera and finish off my eye look because that's not part of this video. Okay so I finished off my eyes adding some glitter because I was feeling a little bit dull. Now I'm gonna be putting a setting spray to lock it all in place. So I have been using the NYX Matte Finish setting spray. It sets everything and keeps it matte for longer. I'm just gonna spray my face right now. Okay, so that is it. I'm just gonna go put on a lip, do my hair, and I'll be right back. Hi guys, it is a few hours later. By a few, I mean like a lot of hours later. I actually had a birthday party to go to, so I've been, I've come back because I'm so organized and I gave myself 
plenty of time to do this video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little chill video of my kind of winter base routine. All the products that I've used will be listed down below for you guys. It's a pretty basic routine, but I just thought I'd go through it and kind of tell you my thought process and using the products that I do use. It's just kind of easing me in back into YouTube because I've been absent for a while. I'm trying to organize my life, okay? <laughs> and yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget, if you do want to see more videos like this, to hit the little subscribe button, which is down below. Hit the little bell, which is next to it. And I hope you stick around for the next videos. Happy 2019, everybody. I can't wait to see what this year brings. See you in the next one. Bye, guys. <coughs> since I've been filming my... Since I'll be... Since I've been filming my... <gasps> Is there any better feeling than pulling your eyelashes off after wearing them for hours? I think it's